everybody. Good morning, good morning. This is the most beautiful day. It's our last SoCal Brunch Series event. And this Wednesday was very popular. I was so excited. We sold out of Wednesday before anything else. And I always joke that you guys have been doing something right because you can come here on a Wednesday in the middle of <laughs> the middle of the week and have that freedom. So we're definitely on the right, the right track to uh, finding a, a passion and purpose-filled life, I think. Um, so the topic for today is about passion and purpose. So what I found, especially with a lot of my coaching clients, is what we're passionate about and what our purpose is is oftentimes hidden in what we're already doing. So a lot of what I encourage them to do is to really get aware and intentional about where they're spending their time. The first one I have is take an inventory of how you're already spending your time. So that's something Dinah looked at, what she was already doing, what I was already doing with my time. Just write stuff down because once you have it on paper in front of you, it becomes a little bit easier to see um, how you're spending your time and how you might be able to pull a potential career or, or opportunity from how you're already spending your time. One of the ways that I even came up with the idea for Model Meals was I looked at how I was already spending my time and I noticed I was cooking, I was hosting dinner parties, I was answering people's questions about health and wellness and Whole30. And so I decided, oh, if I could give them this feeling first and give them the food I'm eating, then they'd really get what I was talking about in terms of how life-changing this is. So for me, by writing down everything that I was doing, I uncovered the clues that were already present in my life that told me how I could create maybe a career or a passion or a purpose out of what I was already doing. So some of those questions are, uh, what can you not shut up about? What could you write a pretty decent book about right now if I paid you a million dollars? What do your nice friends tell you about yourself? What do, um, what kind of people do you follow on Instagram? What kind of celebrities do you admire? What kind of books do you read? Um, what do you wish existed? Do you have a big idea? All questions like that, that help you to start thinking about these things. So the goal was to encourage them to answer these questions for themselves. And we kind of did it as a group, but also they were jotting their notes down. And they could look at that at the end of our at the end of our session or some of our other activities and kind of get an idea of oh well I'm really passionate about um, event planning I'm really passionate about fashion and empowering women how could I put this together and create maybe an event that's all about fashion and empowering women right so it's for them to be able to look on paper at how they're already spending their time and how they can potentially create something really magical out of that I'm a big big pre um, advocate for meditation, for journaling, for silence, for getting rid of all the noise that's constantly in our life, for being really intentional about getting, giving yourself quiet space and open space. If we don't create open space in our life, in our mind, in our thoughts, we do not, nothing new will come in. And a lot of us are trying to create these big lives that we want, that the, the things that seem so exciting to us, but we're like drowning in our existing life. And that sends signals to the universe that we can't take on anything else. So until we navigate and we say no and we get rid of the thing, that's why I'm a big believer in kind of just like quitting the job and just going all in. Um, until we create the space for something new and something better to come in, it can't come in. So it's good to think, think about that and look at the places in your life that are taking up your time and your and mental energy and you know, just really just taking so much of you that isn't serving you and that you're not passionate about because we really can, especially today, create lives where we are doing, for the most part, something that really brings us joy in almost every area of our life. It's crazy to think that this was our last brunch series before we go on the road. We had five in March, we've had February events and January events. So we're wrapping up right now, we're taking the lights down, we're gonna take the tent down pretty soon. Um, and it's just surreal. We're about to go on the road. We're hitting the road for eight months. We're taking this thing on tour. We have about 52 stops all over the US and Canada, which is crazy. We're selling most of our stuff. We're moving out of our house and we're actually doing that in the next three days. I actually have a flight to Boston in a few hours. I have a modeling job Thursday, Friday, and then we have a garage sale here Saturday to get rid of our stuff. And then we're on the road on Sunday. So it's a pretty quick, um, month but I'm doing what I love and I'm doing it with the person I love and this work is so meaningful and I think that you know I'm grateful that we can do this here in Southern California but I also think that these conversations need to be had all over the world and so for us to be able to take this on the road and do what we love and travel and meet new people is just surreal so I'm excited I'm a little tired um, a little nervous for what that you know what that looks like it's definitely massive change for us but it's incredible, it's a dream come true. So I feel very grateful because I know that I created and manifested this life. This I wanted a life where I had freedom of location, where I could inspire people and where I could tap into what I'm good at and share that and my own story and experience. So I get to do that for a living and that feels really fucking good. 
So please don't forget to subscribe, follow along. We're going to be sharing these videos each week, and I would love if you'd follow us on our journey. You can also check me out over on Instagram at Danica Bracia or on my website, danicabracia.com.